According to a report from The Hollywood Reporter, Quentin Tarantino has completed the script for his final movie and is set to direct the movie in the autumn. The director for a long time has stated he didn't want to become an old man filmmaker. It was said for a long time that he wanted to direct 10 movies or or conclude his directing career at the age of 60 years old. Tarantino has said that he won't retire completely from the creative process. The director has released his first novelisation of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which adds a lot more detail to the story. Tarantino has also revealed that he is working on the limited series, which initially I thought he was going to direct this year, and he kind of gave the impression that he was going to direct it this year. But it appears that his final film is going to be the project he works on in 2023. The report of his final film being written and being filmed later this year comes from The Hollywood Reporter. The title is said to be The Film Critic, and the only thing we know about the project is that it is set in the 1970s and is going to have a female lead. To quote the article from The Hollywood Reporter, it says, It is possible the story focuses on Pauline Kael, one of the most influential movie critics of all time. Kale, who died in 2001, was not just a critic, but also an essayist and novelist. She was known for her pugnacious fights with editors, as well as filmmakers. In the late 1970s, Kale had a very brief tenure working as a consultant for Paramount, a position she accepted at the behest of actor Warren Beatty. The timing of that Paramount job seems to coincide with the setting of the script, and the filmmaker is known to have deep respect for Kale making the odds of her being the subject of the film more likely. The Hollywood Reporter is one of the bigger trades that seems to have a great deal of sources across Hollywood, so there's no reason for me to doubt any of this information. I think Tarantino will want to make his final movie another love letter to cinema, or maybe sort of talk about what cinema is and how it affects the audience. So having the protagonist of his final movie be a film critic seems rather appropriate. At the time, it says there is no studio backing this project yet, but Tarantino doesn't seem to have any problems getting his films made in Hollywood. He's one of the rare directors that seems to be an independent director who can play in the sandbox of big-budget Hollywood movies. Even a director like Martin Scorsese doesn't seem to have that clout these days and has had to go to streaming services to make his big-budget movies. For a long time, Quentin Tarantino collaborated with the Weinstein Company, and after the allegations and the conviction of Harvey Weinstein, Tarantino broke off from working with him and went to Sony to work on Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. It's highly likely that he'll go back to Sony to develop and produce his next movie, but you know there's a chance that other studios might be bidding to fund Tarantino's final movie. It will be a big deal in Hollywood that this is going to be Tarantino's final project that will release in cinemas. Obviously, he said that he's not going to retire from the creative process at all. He said on a podcast that he's not really interested in producing projects because he says producing is a lot of work and he doesn't want to be involved unless it's a project that he is working on. After this movie, he's going to work on that limited series project that he spoke about and it's likely he'll write more plays and write more books about cinema and even novelizations of ideas he's had for scripts he's not developed over the years. Tarantino, despite saying he's only going to direct 10 projects, seems to have had a lot of other projects on the back burner that he's wanted to direct over the years. It is possible that Tarantino will write more scripts in Hollywood but step back from directing them, but I think one of the things that makes Tarantino movies so special is that he is completely involved in the creative process, from being the sole writer of the project to directing it and bringing it his vision to life on the big screen. So it is possible that he could write the screenplay for Kill Bill Volume 3 and step back from directing duties, but a lot of fans would be disappointed in that. Notably, though, Tarantino has written projects and not directed them. Early on in Hollywood, he wrote Natural Born Killers, which was directed by Oliver Stone, and he also wrote True Romance, which was directed by Tony Scott. I am certainly excited to see what comes of this project, although with the title The Film Critic, I did feel like his final film would be a homage to The Good, The Bad and The Ugly. I thought he would use that title 
as an inspiration just how Once Upon a Time in Hollywood was taken from Once Upon a Time in the West, uh, Once Upon a Time in America, for example. And as of yet, we don't have any announcement of who's going to be cast in this project. You know, it says that there's going to be a female lead. Could this be another actress he's worked with in the past? Or Tarantino does have a habit of bringing back actresses and actors that haven't had the best time recently and he wants them to have a comeback. Someone like Jennifer Jason Lee in The Hateful Eight or even uh, Pam Greer in Jackie Brown come to mind when casting the leads in his films. A lot of his long-time collaborations over the years have been with actors like Michael Madsen, Tim Roth, Samuel L. Jackson, Harvey Keitel and more recently Leonardo DiCaprio. Tarantino does have a habit of casting some of the same actors in minor roles in his films and I do think some of his long-time collaborators will star in this final movie of his. I do think though that anything we say is just speculation and he may not bring any of his long-time collaborators on this film, although I think that's highly unlikely based on the previous 10 projects Tarantino has worked on. I will clarify the reason that Tarantino says that this final movie is going to be his 10th movie is because he considers Kill Bill Volume 1 and Volume 2 to be one movie. I think that was also a way to have The Hateful Eight be his 8th movie in his filmography and they were able to use that in the marketing material. Tarantino has had a fantastic career and a lot of his movies have a great deal of acclaim. He's one of Hollywood's darlings. He's made all these great movies, these stylized independent movies, and I would say he's an auteur when it comes to the films he directs. I'm really excited to see this final project and to hear about any news of casting and what the story is going to entail in the coming months. That's it for this video. Are you excited to hear about more of the movie critic and see what Quentin Tarantino has to offer in his final movie. Who would you like to see cast in this movie? Do you want to see his longtime collaborators or do you want to see him work with new and fresh talent across Hollywood? Let me know in the comments below. Please give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to click the bell icon to receive notifications for all of my videos. That's it for now. Thanks for tuning in.